celebration enjoy the hallmarks of the holidays, but for millions struggling to make ends meet, this holiday season will be a little less joyful than in years past. Liza Lucas shares how one Atlanta woman is using inspiration from her own closet to help others in need. It was a cross-country road trip that brought Meg Guillantine to a life-changing realization. I learned on that kindness tour that I need very little. I need very little out there in the world to be happy and be content. And I came home to a house full of stuff. It's fabulous stuff, but I just don't need it all. For six weeks, Meg and restaurant owner Jenny Levinson traveled, spreading kindness and comforting bowls of soup. But what they witnessed left Meg's heart heavy and with a calling to do more. We are trained to say everything's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. And I just met so many people on our journey that really aren't fine. Seeing the hardships, Meg wanted to help, launching the Giver's Closet with donations from family and friends. The Pay What You Can pop-up offers everyone a chance to shop, no matter their circumstances, with suggested prices for those who want to pay. If you can't pay that, you pay whatever you want, and if you can't pay anything at all, it's completely free. The Giver's Closet, a place for all to shop, whether for holiday gifts or the basics to get by. Meg donating all proceeds back to the community. Community is so important. You can't wait around for somebody else to fix it, right? We gotta fix it ourselves and do what brings us joy. And I think the Giver's Closet might bring a lot of joy. The next pop-up is this Saturday. For details on how to shop or to donate, visit our story online.